Welcome to Grave Reload. I'm Anthony, and let's unbox the Ruku Ultra. I picked up the Ruku Ultra. This is for my parents. Now, they don't have a 4K TV yet, so this is probably a little overkill for what they have. However, um, with how their setup is and everything else, I figured this was going to be the longest lasting device, hopefully. For them and as they upgrade their TV or get a TV upgrade this will fit in nicely and be able to be compatible it also has Ethernet so they have um, a couple they have a ubiquity setup I, that I put in there for them so if I run a cable this will be ready for them right from there so let's just go in through a little bit of the specs here go around the box they, somebody said this in America's Number one TV streaming platform. It says easy setup in three steps. I would say it's a little bit more than that, Roku, but we'll see. I mean, I already set up my Roku, so I kind of know what it is. And then here is what's included a little bit about if it decides to focus someday. Um, what's included, and then what you need. So there, now you can pause it if you want. But what's included is your Roku Stream Planner, of course, voice remote, headphones for private listening, two AA batteries, your power adapter, and your high-speed HDMI cable. You'll need a broadband internet, and you will need wireless router, or wired router, so something to get internet connection, and then TV with an HDMI port. If you want 4K, you're going to need a TV or a monitor that supports um, HDCP 2.2, so that's for the copy protection. Most new TVs today, I know my monitor it does. It's a 4K monitor, but does not support HDCP 2.2, which is unfortunate because I do have a Roku connected to that. But that's a whole nother story. Maybe I'll have to get a new monitor, but at some point for where my Roku is located. But you know, overall, my device works pretty good. If you haven't seen that video, take a check it out. If you're interested in what I think Roku needs to improve on in my review of the Roku Stream Bar. And this is the Roku 4800, so that's the Ultra. They do make a light from Walmart that Walmart sells as well. I think there's another Walmart model. I think there's a Target Pacific model and a maybe a Best Buy specific model. So Roku does make specific models. I picked up the Ultra, happened to order it from Walmart here in the United States, and I'm not very that close to a Walmart. Um, I'm also not that close to. Uh, I'm more rural, right? So, uh, I was impressed that Walmart actually dropped this off yesterday. I ordered it online yesterday, and they dropped it off yesterday. I was shocked here. So, a um, little bit more of the tech specs on the back here. You'll see, you know, they say the ultimate stream platform, and then down at the bottom here, they have the tech specs, which is AO211 AC, uh, MIMO, multiple in, multiple out, dual wireless in here. Then they have a 10... 100 Ethernet port power USB 3 on it. Um, they have Bluetooth, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, and it's got a quad core processor. So it's got a quite a bit of stuff. This Roku is what your base should be for your stream bar. This, not what you did, you know, and removing a port or you know, an Ethernet port. But come on, Roku. So we'll open this up. Not have everything um, come out. So here's the inside of the box. One nice thing that I'm noticing right off the bat is that is a little piece of foam. So in shipping it can help a little bit. But then you have the Roku here. And we'll just take the Roku out. Just do a little quick overview. So you have the Roku. Here's the front, which is, let's take off this. That's your IR um, for your remotes. Here's the lost remote button right there. So it's got a hard click on it. You got, on the other side, go to the other side real fast. You got the Roku little tag. Then on the bottom, you have the 4800X. There's a serial number underneath my finger. And there's a reset button right here at the bottom there, which is pretty good clicking, a little bit better than the other click. 
and it's a rubberized bottom. So that's actually really nice that Roku sticks with that rubberized bottom, puts it on, you know, it's not going to scratch up a place. So it's not as grippy as I thought it would be, but oh well. Then we go the next step. Getting started guide. I know that there's five dollars to what is the voodoo five dollar voodoo credit on the box. Then they have the box set up like this. You have your remote, which has this is a chunkier remote than the one that comes with the stream bar. I can tell that right now. Uh, it does have voice. And the voice only works when you press the button, which I like. It has uh, two personalizations, which I think are going to be a very big benefit to Program 2. One, um, for me, it would be one press just for Plex, right? I watch a lot of Plex. I have a Plex server. And I think my parents will also like that because they watch off my Plex server. You have two, looks like, AA batteries here. Yep, AA batteries that are needed. I think they come in the box, and then, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Well, you know, it looks like a Roku remote. And let's go through, and let's open up this side. You have the battery power, or you have HDMI cable here. You have the power cable here. Oh. You have your headphones here, and they have the purple ends on them that you can change them out with. Very cool, Ruku. And then you have the batteries, and the box is empty. Oops. Keep turning your arm, Anthony, until you can see the box. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's basically it for this Ruku. I'm going to see how how this can handle the streaming stuff. So, my parents have slow internet, right? They're in a very rural area, um, and there's not much options for internet in there. Now, with some of the satellite internet that's coming, that's more of an option here, that's in beta, but for what they're paying versus what that is, there's a big, big price difference. So they get about 20 down and one up. That's their uh, speed right now, or I think it's 18 and one by one. But it's, you know, it can stream. It's been getting better. It's better stability lately. So they've been able to stream on a desktop computer Plex quite regularly. And with stability, about uh, six months to a year ago, it was really bad. Much better now. So hopefully that this can help them out and replace it, be a little bit easier for them. Right, I'm more concerned about making sure that they get and easier options, right? Improve Technology should be improving your life and making it easier, not more difficult. So that's what my goal is. Right now I have a, uh, I wanna say a 50 foot HDMI cable ran from a computer to a um, TV that then is used with uh, a wireless keyboard and mouse that you drag the Plex window over. So there's there's just a lot of Plex complexities that they, that with this right next to the TV, right? This is always on. You just hit the power button, right? It turns everything on, and we're good to go. So maybe this is going to be a better option for them, and we'll see. But this is the Roku Ultra, right? There's a, I mean, at the time of filming this, Walmart was selling this on sale for $80. And the Roku Ultra LE, which doesn't have all the same features, um, but it's very close, right? I was going in between. There were... What was that? It was like at $69 as well. So it was $10 difference. I was like, well, I'll just get the Roku one that Roku made and sells everywhere else. Then the Watermelon Pacific one. So this is the Roku Ultra. Let me know what questions you have. I know the review for this may take a lot longer because when I do a review of it, it's going to, unless I just do a review of what their experience is, um, I'm going to have to use it a few times and then I'll get their feedback as well but it may be a little bit different type of review I have of it because I'll have different feedback but hopefully it's rock solid and reliable because if that's the case and it solves you know a pain point of not having a computer that's fixed to the wire of HDMI that's ran 50 feet right up over doors everything else 
that eliminates those cores in the house, you know, eliminates a lot of other stuff. And I can just run a simple Ethernet cord if I need to right to there or wireless. I did put a Ubiquiti network in there with wireless. So it's got great coverage now as well with um, two um, U6LRs. So we'll see, right? I'll be able to test this out in mul multiple different ways and hopefully uh, it works out well for them. And if not, I will let you guys know as well. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to help support Grey Overload and helping this channel grow. I really appreciate it. And God bless. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.